Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, North Flight Images, and in this video I'm going to address a question I get asked quite a lot in a variety of different ways, and it sometimes comes out as why are you using particular kit, or more to the point, why are you still using that old kit? Why haven't you bought a new camera? Um, why don't you get something new? And it's often couched also with a sub-question to it, should I get X, Y, Z, whatever? Um, it, I get asked about this in terms of the photography I do, which I, I'm an architectural commercial photographer. So I use a lens, you know, one like this shift lens, 17 millimeter. I still use Canon 5DS. So people say, why haven't you bought yourself an R5 or something like that? Well, I did test the R5 and it's just not good enough. Um, well, more to the point, it's great but it's not that much better for the work I do. And so that's you know, the short answer to that. As a commercial photographer though, um, I have to actually justify any expenditure on new kit in it being useful to the business. And that makes an important difference. So I might have used a, an old tripod, tripod head for a while, but when I got this uh, Rogetti geared head for my architectural photography, it actually had an effect on the bottom line since the accuracy of the photos I've taken has improved. Improved not massively, but just enough to make a difference in my editing time. Editing time costs money, uh, better results, right first time more often, which is what I'm really after. I was reminded by this as well, as well by the questions, by an article written by one of the few people in popular photography who I follow, uh, Tom Hogan. Now I'll put a link to his, uh, his stuff. Um, it's written articles. He writes books, uh, far more books than I ever have, he says, pointing to my book about tilt shift lenses. But um, it, I, res I respect his views. He has a lot of industry knowledge and um, he has a suitable scepticism towards uh, a lot of uh, what's popular in photography. Now, he knows far more about picking kit than I do because he writes camera books uh, and does things like that. He also uses autofocus a lot more than I do. Um, so when he does do work, he, he needs stuff that performs well. I simply don't need autofocus very often in my work. Another reason why should I get a great lens or go for a camera because it's got great autofocus. Buildings don't move that much. Um, and when they do, I'm taking a photograph of them from a distance and they're falling down. So it's really not that important. Um, one other, I would say, do read Tom Hogan's stuff. Short articles. One of the things I do like about his stuff, he's not the classic shouty YouTube uh, photographer type person. I've never been a fan of YouTube. Um, I made these videos after somebody at Canon convinced me to do them and said that people might find them interesting. I didn't believe that, but um, you know, lots of people said just because I like writing, some people prefer to watch stuff than this. So uh, thank you to those of you who uh, who do follow us and that, uh, and it is is much appreciated. But I say have a read of some of Tom Hogan's stuff. He has some great examples, as I say. This is what reminded me of this uh, the other day as to reasons why people ask about new kit, um, you know, what kit you, and the converse of that as to why I use old kit still. It comes down to, and this is one I've railed against on many occasions, if I get a better camera, I'll get better pictures. Likewise, I've been using such and such a printer for years. If I get a better printer, will my prints look better? Almost certainly, not that much, because when it comes down to it, most of the things that bring about an improvement are nothing to do with buying new kit. Now, there are exceptions to that, and obviously, as I say, I'm an architectural photographer. Without the shift lens that I use, the 17mm, I would have had difficulty in taking this picture. I could have taken it, multi-shot, stitched them together, but with this, I'm able to take the picture in just one shot. Um, makes a difference, when I, particularly since I've got people in front of it who are walking across it and I just timed it for the people walking across it. So yes, in that instance, there's nothing better available. And that's not cheap either, but it has a job to do. So a lot of the stuff I get to people asking about new kit is, you know, what are they hoping to get out of it? Perhaps in a way, look at 
what your existing stuff won't do. Is that something you can fix by just throwing money at it and buying new kit? This is 50 megapixel, the R5, nice camera, is 45. That makes no, diff no real difference on it. This one here, I've got, this is a macro lens. Here it's the uh, Canon uh, 65mm macro lens, very specialised macro lens. I'm looking forward to seeing at some point, it also extends a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing what Canon brings out eventually to replace this in the RF mount. Then that might give me a reason for shifting. Um, you know, basically, if you find out what you can't do, can it be fixed? Is it something you need money to fix? If it needs money to fix, do you really need to spend it? Is it perhaps time to actually look more critically at your own photography? All the kinds, what you take, why you take, not how you take. Almost any decent camera these days can produce good looking results. Um, it's a well-known thing. If you look at Nikon adverts, Canon adverts, Sony adverts, the pictures they show in them, they don't need whatever camera they're selling to do it. And therein lies another one of the problems. Make sure you're not being sold something just for the sake of it. New does not equal better. Somebody asked me recently about deals, and I've got a couple of videos about this. They asked recently about deals for printers. They'd seen a deal for Canon printers or a deal for Epson printers. Did this mean new printers were on the way and they were selling off the old ones cheap? No, almost certainly not. It really doesn't mean it. It means they want to shift a few more printers and they're doing a deal for the market volume or something like that. Really makes no difference. Printers last even longer than cameras. This is a 2015 camera, so yeah, I've got my money's worth out of this. If this fell off a cliff, I would get an R5 to replace it. No great problem there. Or actually, if I'm waiting for a replacement for the R5, look at this with my, you know, how much does this cost head on? I can pick up one of these secondhand quite reasonably and still wait for the high resolution version of the R5 that has been long rumoured and something that I would love for my architectural work. But look at it seriously. Um, if you really want to spend money because you think, oh, I need, you know, if only by spending money will I improve my photography. Well, yeah, I'll take it off you. Yeah? Um, I do bespoke training. Um, make a donation to the site or something like that if you really feel that you need to get rid of that spare money. Um, yeah, there are plenty of worthy causes as well as myself. So, uh, you know, just don't rush out. Don't fall into that trap. As I said about printers, I get asked this regularly. This printer's been around for two years. It must be due for replacement. No, printers last for years. Mobile phones get new ones bought out every year. Printers are not mobile phones, nor are cameras. So there you go. Have a look at that Tom Hogan article. Um, it's well worth, uh, well worth a look. He's rather more blunt in his dismissal of people who spend money uh, for just for you know following what somebody else has got. Uh, hope these sort of videos are of use to you. So please do subscribe to the channel if you find them useful. Make comments because I do read all the comments. I try and respond to most of them or email me at Northlight Images if you've got more complex questions. Because quite often it's people's questions like, Keith, why are you still using that old camera? That give me ideas for things like this, which I hope are useful for people. So thanks very much.